There are a whole bunch of new cars on the market. Some of them aren't even Tesla. What? I don't know how that's possible. Yes, Volkswagen is getting serious, apparently. There's some Chinese companies making some big moves. Can they compete? Do they have anything going for them at all? Uh, yes, no, and we shall find out in that order. I think I got that right. Joining me today to discuss, as he so often does, is Randy Kirk from randy kirk and uh he's uh gonna be playing the part today of randy kirk uh i'm brian welcome to future Aza. i hope they remember my name <laughs> doing my best and it's on screen so come on well, oh yeah uh well yeah uh i have had some people say why do you still have randy on and i say diversity of voices is valuable um if you want my bubble to shrink there's a lot of people i can cut I don't. I thought it, I thought it was the looks. I've, I've always been convinced it was this amazing face. Um. Well, uh, no, your no. mother may have lied to you, <laughs> <laughs> but my mother didn't. She always said, "Man, eh, you look all right." I don't know. <laughs> I kid. I kid. Not much, but a little bit. I was the youngest of four. It was a different time. We were free range children. Free range children. Oh, yes. free range. Oh, That's feral true. children. Oh, we oh. wolves. We should be so lucky. They didn't want us to come home. They didn't want us to it come wasn't, home. It wasn't, it wasn't like, oh boy, it's almost five o'clock. It's time for them to come home. It's it 10 like, p.m. Do you know where your children are? That was not That was not like a word of caution. That was just like a reminder that you can just leave them loose on the streets. Hey, a uh, quick reminder. I do have a Patreon. You can uh, patronize a YouTube channel. You can become a member of. You can uh, sign up as a subscriber on X. All of those do now have bonus material. I'm releasing extra material on those venues almost every day. News stories that won't fit. Uh, some updates about goings on with the channel. And of course, my daily puzzles where I complete the New York Times strands, Wordle, and Connect. I do those anyway. I figure since I'm making the jokes out loud in my office by myself like a crazy person, I might as well record and share it. With that said, Randy, we've got some great, great news. I hope you're I hope you're ready. Volkswagen's 20,000 euro electric car wins on more than just price. And would you believe it's not just a render? Uh, because if if so, you'd be wrong. It is still just a render. Oh, I see. Okay. This is gorgeous. It's adorable. I think it's got a very happy, friendly, adorable look. Uh, what it doesn't have is even a prototype. Uh -huh. So the ID every one. Get it? It's got a one in it. Oh, I see. I see. Huh. I feel like you guys spent all your mental capital on coming up with the name <laughs> and it's supposed to be about tw you know 22,000 uh huh. US USD dollars uh and you know it's that I mean boy if you think Tesla's are minimalist uh this has got a few buttons but other than that it kind of looks like you're in a trabi I don't know if you remember the Trabant but it I was oh it was the East German car ah, uh, so this is great are they going to make it that's always the question right 155 so, miles of range 155 yeah 94 horsepower for 22 I grand i've i have i've been looking for something to take on the golf course yeah i don't know man i don't know i don't know even if you make it even if it hits that price and those specs i don't know man but let's go to the other end of the spectrum. Yu Tong okay. to launch electric 7.5 ton truck. Mm. Now, of course, the truck doesn't weigh 7.5 tons. Yeah. I think you can tell that by looking at it. It weighs uh, far less than that. It's actually quite light. It can handle seven and a half tons. Yeah, it, it weighs 3,000 kilograms because it's only got a 100 or 132 kilowatt battery. Wow. So, so that's pretty good. And the, you know what's nice about a seven and a half ton truck? You know what you could do with that? You could literally tow this. You could just haul one GMC Hummer because, <laughs> because these weigh, uh, you know, do you know what these weigh? Uh, 9,000 pounds? Yeah, like over 90, yeah. 95. Yeah. So this is four and a half tons, almost five tons of your, of your gross weight right there. This is, uh, 
proof that just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. Yeah, they, they charge so much for them, I suppose. I don't know that they make any money, though. I don't know. It's insane. Hey, uh, did you know that uh, good news out of out of Asia? Toyota unveils the Boshi 3X in China, a cheap, advanced, smart EV. Hmm. I think all of those are in question. I don't know. Yeah. Looking at it, I don't know if that's going to be cheap. I don't think it's going to be smart. And it's... It's not advanced. I don't know. And is this a prototype or is this a rendering or? It's not a render. So Toyota's begun selling it, a smart oh, electric sure? vehicle. Okay. Yeah. So it's actually out on the market. More than 10,000 orders were received within an hour of the launch. Wow. That's fine. 104,000 yuan. That's actually quite cheap. Uh, so the price range is 15 to 20,000 US. Oh. But, oh. but it's made by GAC Toyota. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. So right. is this really a Toyota? Yeah. I don't know how much Toyota DNA is in there. Um, for that matter, I don't know what uh, the grandson of the founder does with his Toyota DNA. That's not the point. Uh, but they're trying to get a little bit more serious in the Chinese market by by slapping their name on a Chinese car from GAC. Yeah. So that's hopefully... Yeah. Good luck. Is, well, is GAC has been around for a long time and they've been doing this kind of work for a long time. And maybe they have some idea of what will sell in China because uh, so far. Because Toyota auto, does not. The legacy automakers are completely clueless. You know how market. aspirational brands like Mercedes, BMW and Audi have historically been in China. Yeah. Those days are gone. And I do not see a road to getting them back. I cannot imagine that if the new version of the Mercedes S class comes out as an electric version, that Chinese buyers will flock to it. China has a lot of really great domestic brands. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know what your plan is, but if I want to look at somebody who's really doesn't have a plan, let's talk about the Ram 1500 Ram charger electric pickup promises to have it all just no time soon. Uh, this can't be real base price of 28, four. Okay. No, this is for a different vehicle completely. Thank you. Detroit free press for giving me uh, an entirely unrelated video. Ram has revealed details of its radically engineered 2026 a uh, full size pickup 690 mile cruising range hmm. okay that's hmm. that's going to be a big battery the goal is to be slightly higher than the average transaction price of an internal combustion pickup so that's the goal that's the mm -hmm. goal randy whatever that means i, I didn't say we were going to achieve it <laughs> <laughs> it's but it's our goal i mean come on uh, 690 miles of range. What that means is while towing, you would get three, 350. Yeah, yeah. Which is, I think, reasonable. I think that's what you need. But this, first of all, it's far out. The current one, yeah, has a, a, I think, I don't even know if they made the range extended one. Did they? I think they did. And what we found out is that the battery in their range extended EV, when I call it a hybrid, some people get angry because- mm -hmm. It's not a mm -hmm. true hybrid. Hey, if it burns dino juice, let's just call it an internal combustion car because, because all internal combustion cars have batteries. They're just 12 volts and they, right. they, they don't do much uh, motion. The problem is the battery they put in it is already as big as the battery in some cars, some EVs. Mm -hmm. So an EV with benefits, the Ram charger is delivering all the benefits EV promises with none of the potential downside, towing, long range performance, uh, all that good stuff, smooth, quiet operation. And of course you've got your outlets. I feel like you kind of have to, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Do you think this is, uh, this is what we're going to need? It's going to be, what you know, we need? it's so, it's so hard to know the, I mean, the pickup market is, is definitely still in play. Um, for all of the uh, for all the legacy folks, um, Cybertruck, I'm very hopeful uh, based on initial reviews, the reviews of people that now had them for a year. Um, you know, it's a phenomenal vehicle. Um, and so they're but, you know, it, I don't think anybody's 
thinking they're going to be over 250,000 units this year. And I don't think anybody's really thinking they'll be over 500,000 units in 2026. So that leaves, uh, you know, a couple of million units out there for other guys to carve up. Um, so I think there's plenty of that. It seems to me that would be the niche that, that they would be concentrating on the hardest. I think it would be the easiest for them to gain that niche. I think in the comments, we will get people telling you it's pronounced niche because they grew up somewhere different from you. Well, it depends um, on whether you're, you know, a, a, for a rabbit, it's a niche. You know? And uh, I think it's a, I think I'm just going to call it a Nietzsche. Uh, so it is actually 690 miles with the gas tank. The, the, uh, of course, the 91.8 kilowatt hour pack will get you 145 miles of range. Ooh. <sighs> okay. So I, I just don't know what to tell you there. Uh, so, but what I would, what I would say, and I think this is every bit as important is that, um, this coming weekend is the closing days of 12 angry jurors, uh, including, uh, juror number seven played by one me. Uh, we've got three dates left Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday matinee rumor has it. Herbert will be at the Saturday show. If you'd like oh. to meet, if you'd like to meet Herbert, you can, you can, you can do it. It's a $25 ticket and you get to see a play for free at that point because you've already paid the price of admission to meet Herbert and Ron from the Oregon Electric Vehicle Association will be there. I'm very excited. His lovely wife, Carla, uh, it's going to be, uh, I would say a whole lot of fun, but it's a drama and we are crushing it. Randy Kirk, we are crushing it. Tickets remain on sale. Sunday is getting a little full. If you're thinking about the Sunday book now, because they're selling it. Hey, people flew from all over the country uh, to go to the Swift concerts. So I don't know why they wouldn't fly to see, you know, your play. Mm -hmm. I did have a number of people say, uh, if the timing was different, I was going to be a smart aleck and drive a, an unforgivable distance just to show up unannounced. And I was like, ah, eh, it's the thought that counts. Uh, and unfortunately, there will be no recording because our license doesn't cover that. Of course it doesn't, you know, otherwise, yeah. what are you going to do? People sneak in and do those things, you know, illegally. Uh, yes, mostly popcorn. Now we have popcorn for sale in the lobby. All the more reason to join us, won't you? Uh, so guys in the comments, which of those vehicles are you most excited about? I'm, I got to tell you, I'm excited about, I'm excited about none of them, but uh, I have, I guess, different needs. I don't need to haul seven and a half tons uh, of Hummer. Uh, but if yeah. I did, I would go with a Utong. <laughs> Guys, uh, yeah, in the in the comments, leave it. Leave it. Let us know. Uh, stay tuned to Juicy, all that good stuff. Uh, thank you to all the new patrons who have signed up to help out. I hope you're enjoying the bonus content. You can let me know on any of those three platforms where the bonus content is posted. And uh, stay tuned. Stay juicy. And I cannot wait to hear from you clever robots in the comment sections of Randy's videos where I also appear.